my final question to these people who find themselves in this situation, and I know this can sometimes be um, difficult because it's a very stressful time that people might be going through in terms of relationship breakdowns to find themselves in this situation. Um, and so I want to talk to their story first because they will get some form of windfall as the separation of the assets and the sale of assets or whatever might happen. One of the things that we we often see happening is um, as part of the refresh and resetting of the life is that there will be narrative around spending on lifestyle elements or things like that. And the biggest one in my case that I see often is the car. So they say, oh, well, look, you know, I want to I want to start a new life. And so rather than rather than sort of putting that money into a deposit for a home, they go and drop 50 or 60 grand on a nice car because it makes them feel good, gives them that sugar hit in that earlier stage. If your car is unreliable and unsafe um, to take you from point A to point B, then I, I completely respect that uh, a new car might be, or a, or a demo car or a secondhand car, relatively new, might be something you need to spend money on. But try and make it at the smallest amount possible for you. Don't get enticed to, to, to give yourself a treat after dealing with such difficult times because ultimately by doing that, you are robbing yourself of giving yourself an appreciating asset that's going to help you in the future. And so that sugar hit that you're going to get is going to cause some pain um, down the track. And I know that sometimes can be difficult because we want this narrative of resetting ourselves and feeling, um, you know, feeling uh, internally um, satisfied with ourselves. And we sometimes do that through a little bit of retail therapy. Please don't do that um, if you're thinking about your finances.